ಹಾಯ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆಮ್ ಸಂತೋಷ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಟುಡೇ ವೆರಿ ಗೋಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಏಚು ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಏಚು ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಫಿಲ್ಟರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ವಿ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ದ ಏರ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಏರ್ ಕ್ಲೀನರ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಕೂಲಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ತಮ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐಸ್ಟ್ರೇ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಐಸ್ಟ್ರೇ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಏರ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಪರ್ ಅವರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಗೋ ತ್ರೂ ಸಮ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಬ್ರಿವೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೀಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಆಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಬ್ರಿವೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಎಚ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಅಬ್ರಿವೇಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ and some of the authorities names okay usually we use as tray i stray hri approved ul approved okay so that list also i have um, uh, abbreviations also i have listed here okay that you need to keep it in uh, mind whenever we talk about uh, uh, authorized personnel for approval guidelines who has given so at what uh, standards we are managing so those part so the list of uh, authorization uh, approved laboratories and institute uh, short for abbreviations i have listed out so just keep this in your uh, uh, read it out and keep it in your mind so thereby we can uh, discuss further let us uh, quickly touch base with the uh, smart hu overview um, smart hu uh, like um, it contain five distinct sections okay pre filter back filter hu coil and uh, uv sections and uh, filter uh, fan section okay in a uh, filter uh, pre filter okay so it it has got two inputs one from return air from the field or workstation zone and along with that uh, some portion or around, around some 25 to 30% of uh, fresh air we are going to we need to add up outdoor uh, air so then the mixed air will pass through pre filter and uh, from pre filter to back filter it will pass and back filter to hu coil it is it is passed through hu coil in hu coil uh, usually chilled water in and out uh, uh, if it is vrf unit obviously the refrigerant uh, will be uh, circulating ar- ar- in hu uh, uh, coil and after that uv section uh, so in our uh, current uh, uh, hu all uh, which is available at market it is in built uh, uv section if it is not there uh, like uh, uh older uh, hvc setup can be easily retrofitted with uh, uv section uh this is very important norm so even i stray standard says um, uh, to retrofit with uh, uh, uv fan to improve the uh, air quality because uv the deact um, inactivate uh, the virus bacteria and fungus content in uh, uh, air so after uv section uh, it is passed to fan section uh, so we already know like uh, uh in earlier days we used induction motor now induction motor has replaced with uh, ec fan motors okay so after ec fan it is going to again uh, supply to the field area so in smart hu okay there are three uh, distinct controls okay so one is a static smart cooling with the ddc controller it will work and uh, control the actuator and fan speed based on uh, the return air temperature okay so the return air temperature will be considered as the source input so based on the return air temperature it will give a command to the fan speed to vary as well as actuator to open and close that is called a static smart uh, uh, control with the ddc and uh, ec fan ec fan controller nowadays ec fan is coming up along with the controller so it has got it as own controller also it give a command to the actuator to open and close so next is on smart hu integrated with fill temperature uh, sensors okay so multiple i mean uh, on the filled uh, open cell or uh, facility cell filled uh, workstation field will be divided into number of zones and individual zone uh, uh, temp- uh, temperature sensors will be installed that all input from the zone okay it will be combined and the communication passed to the um uh Uh, actuators and uh, fan speed to vary so that is called uh, smart hu integration with uh, fill temperature sensor so next is on uh, uv enriched again uh, nowadays hu is inbuilt uv 
but uh, uh, UV uh, lamps can be easily retrofitted to any of the AHU systems. Okay, okay, to improve the air quality. And then our last is a free cooling system. Okay, so again uh, nowadays uh, uh, through um, heat exchanger, uh, there's a small portion of free cooling is utilizing, but uh, it, there is always a scope of improving 100% um, free cooling. Okay, pumping out 100% ambient air uh, to the field area if uh, parameters and temperature is matched because uh, we know in urban uh, area air is more polluted so we can't directly use uh, uh, ambient air uh, as it is to fill the workstation area uh, the thing is it can be conditioned through our filters and um, uh, uv section and it can be utilized 100% free cooling for uh, workstation area if all parameters matches so next is on um, uh, fresh air okay so adding a fresh air there's a uh, norm uh, ashtray norms uh, which says okay so outdoor intake uh, air intake to ashtray standard 62 uh, it is 20 cfm per person okay if your uh, uh, occupancy is like um, uh, 100 people in the floor okay then obviously 2000 cfm is uh, required uh, for that particular floor area, we need to add up to EHO as the addition and uh, Usually that calculation will nearly match 25 to 30 percent of EHO capacity like uh, if the EHO capacity is 10,000 CFM obviously uh, 2,500 to 3,000 CFM uh, uh, Fresh air capacity has to be installed let us quickly uh, discuss on MERV and HEPA filters. Okay, so MERV is a minimum efficiency reporting values uh, that is abbreviation of MERV filters. Okay, so it is ability to capture or filter um, the air uh, dust level from 0.3 to 10 microns. Okay, so in that area, so MERV filters are uh, uh, e uh, easily filter. Uh, uh, the particles which is more than 0 0.3 to 10 microns so that will be filtered in maru filter but uh, in uh, hepa filter high efficiency particulate particulate uh, air hepa filters okay it removes 99 percent uh, of dust pollen mold bacteria because it filter the particles less than 0 0.3 microns okay so basically there is no difference between uh, MERV and HEPA filter both remove particles in air but only part is how much level of uh, PM particle it removes okay that is the difference between HEPA and uh, MERV filter usually MERV 13 uh, filter are uh, designed to remove particles that are larger than 0 0.3 microns while HEPA filter are designed to remove the particle that are smaller than 0 0.3 microns so that is the difference between HEPA and uh, uh, MER filter okay let us quickly check uh, we discuss about uh, particles okay 10 micron 0 0.3 let us quickly check what is this particles okay so as you can see a uh, pictorial diagram pm10 is uh, size of pm10 uh, particles okay and uh, the our blood samples okay so that is 7 micron and a PM2 particle size and the bacteria viral is 0 0.5 micron and uh, COVID it is 0 0.1 micron and uh, thing is overall N95 mask or surgical mask can able to uh, avoid the particles up to 0 0.007 microns okay that's where so having surgical and N95 mask will not enter covid or any of other uh, bacteria virus uh, through by the use of um, uh, masks okay and now if we talk about ashtray guidelines okay last year what they have divide, uh, they are given uh, maximum treated fresh air to be utilized okay so as we already discussed so our uh, uh, fresh air capacity will be 25 to 30 percent of uh, the AHU capacity so there's no use of i mean um, uh, feasibility of maximizing fresh air that is why the guideline says open the windows doors to improve the fresh air or to enter more fresh air in the building 
and uh, open ceiling type common return air uh, uh, is not advisable return air ducting and forced exhaust so since we are all like floors are provided with ceiling okay so there is, it is not a open type of common return air okay it is a ceiling one so it is a safer side and uh, forced exhaust preferred uh, it is not uh, our uh, hu setup is forced exhaust okay Un until unless it is equipped with free cooling system where um, full free cooling setup okay so thereby we can exhaust some air so even though if it is a heat exchanger that is the input so we are not using exhaust in heat exchanger for hu uh, units but in free cooling so there is a forced exhaust thereby uh, we can pump out all the field area air to outside okay next is on um, advised retrofit uv uv model select based on uh, capacity of uh, hu required how many watts of uh, uv lamps is required so that we are going to differ, discuss on because uv uh, kills bacteria fungus and uh, virus content in air so that is why ashley is preferring uh, uv section and uh, already we discussed uh, maximize your fresh air and uh, advice to sanitize the hu asset uh, before and after setup how we can uh, sanitize okay there is a guideline which says okay uh, filters grill diffuser uh, and uh, internal surface cleaning can be uh, cleaning can be done through 5% cresol solution plus 50 per, I mean uh, cresol solution how we prepare uh, cresol solution 50% of cresol and 50% of liquid soap solution okay that solution we need to mix with 1 liter with 9 liter water and then we can use for uh, filter and grills and diffuser cleaning to disinfect it okay and there's a standard guideline which is given last year but thing is with the cresol solution it is msds it's a little bit corrosive if um, it is not approved in your building then also we can go with multiple uh, cleaning solutions whatever uh, short service team are using like uh, sumo multi other uh, cleaning solutions okay there is less uh, impact on corrosion okay those we can get internal approval and uh, we can use start using and uh, uh, disinfect our uh, filters okay and main thing is pp is mandatory for hus technicians who is doing cleaning activity because that is the area where more contaminate will happen and uh, uh, they are uh, very open for uh, uh, what uh, getting uh, infected okay so please use ppe while uh, doing uh, uh, hu rounds or inside hu room or whenever you are cleaning filters okay use ppe gloves mask uh, n95 or surgical mask uh, whenever we do carrying out hvc ppm activity why because uh, there is a um, ashtray uh, declared that uh, about 10 micron particles will impact our nose throats okay uh, very severe serious bladly and uh, uh, about 2.5 to 1 micron um, uh, particles are virus bacteria if enters so that will that will infect our uh, lungs breathing system okay so that is why so we more cautious about uh, uh, filter selections okay because how much it can filter how those part is very important uh that's we are going to discuss on uh, filter uh, sections okay and iso 16890 new standard of air filter uh, they earlier we used to say like 10 micron one micron so that is moved to pm particles okay uh, so pm uh, 10 means 10 micron pm 2.5 2.5 micron pm 1 is less than one micron uh, uh, particles okay so particle size is uh, now uh, expressed in uh, pm particles now let's quickly see the filter uh, air filter and its their efficiency so this is a chart okay so where uh, all our mer filters and apa filters and their um, dust arresting efficiency and the um, filter class uh, has been classified okay so usually we use MERV 8 filter for pre-filter okay it is a G classification maximum MERV 8 we are going to use we are using so that is a G4 uh, uh, class filter okay and uh, MERV 8 filter uh, uh, 
uh, up to 10 micron particles can filter and uh, coming back to the bag filter so we usually use <coughs> earlier uh, maru 8 so now it has been replaced uh, many many AHUs which has been replaced with maru 13 and nowadays all smart AHUs uh, filter are coming up with the maru 13 filters so it is F classified F7 class and uh, it can uh, F7 or F8 also coming maru, uh, maru 13 filter uh, uh, F class okay so it can uh, filter uh, below uh, 1 micron particles uh, at the efficiency rate 80 to 85 percent okay but usually i stray recommended uh, now uh, uh, go with hepa filters okay hepa filter uh, not less than uh, h13 grand uh, and that i mean class okay so that can filter 99.995 uh, percent of efficiency uh, for 0 0.3 micron uh, uh, particles okay and um, thing is uh, uh, directly we can't replace with maru 13 to uh, hepa filters okay that's the challenge okay so next slide we're going to discuss what is that challenge why we can't re simply replace our filter maru 13 with hepa filters that we'll discuss now these are all uh, uh, old uh, uh, classification i mean classifications are almost same but the category it is there in terms of microns so i already said the new standard which comes on um, pm particles it's nothing but like uh, uh, maru 13 to 16 uh, uh, it can filter uh, less than one micron that is called epm uh, 1 pm particle 1 so 11 to 12 uh, obviously we discussed up to 2.5 uh, micron can filter and 9 to 10 it can filter um, uh, 10 microns so 7 to 8 iso course 95 percent efficiency and filtering 10 micron so 1 to 6 again it is uh, 10 microns can be filtered it is very rarely used for a small room air conditioning uh, setups so next is on uh, iso 16890 uh, standards so it is uh, divided in uh, pm particles pm1 pm uh, 2.5 particles pm10 particles now let us quickly see h pre filter okay so in a2 pre filter as i already discussed uh, it is a it will get a input uh, combined both return air and fresh air fresh air and around some uh, 25 to 30 percent of uh, uh, a2 capacity or 20 cfm per person calculation fresh air uh, will be feeding mixing with return air and uh, feeding to pre filter in pre filter what and all things we are going to uh, check okay so this is how the pre filter looks so it is a back filter it is a pre filter usually we call it as uh, uh, pre filter and back filter so in um, theoretical terms it is a primary filter and secondary filter so pre filter or primary filter so grade we need to check uh, merv8 and which grade g48 and in a specification they will give thickness and uh, how much temperature it can withstand 80 degree and uh, how much dust arresting capacity okay so usually it is if it is 10 and above it is 90 percent it can um, uh, arrest okay and all the um, particles which is below uh, one microns okay so it will not filter it will pass through the pre filter sections and uh, dust holding capacity uh, how much it can hold so it's uh, 480 grams that we need to check and the airflow and the pressure drop initial and uh, final recommended so pressure drop is nothing but so when if cleaning and uh, you have installed okay there's no little bit pressure drop when it is times goes on when uh, uh, filter section occupied with the dust then obviously some pressure drop will happen so final recommended drop 250 so we should be that is why we have a cleaning cycle of pre-filter cleaning okay so uh, 15 days once or monthly once earlier now it is reduced to 15 days now alternative weeks are um, i mean every week we are going to clean the filters again uh, there is a norm says um, we need to use uh, for filter uh, uh, chemical i mean not chemical okay so some disinfection uh, uh, agent we we can use like 50 percent of cresol and 50 percent of liquid soap okay mixed and we can you can uh, cresol solution made and that 
one liter Cresa solution uh, you can able to mix with uh, nine liters of water and we can use for uh, filter pre-filter cleaning activity. Now let us go to uh, back filters. So back filter after pre-filter the particles which is less than um, I mean uh, the, and more than uh, uh, 1 microns, uh, 1 micron to 10 micron pre-filter will uh, uh, filter. So whatever the particles which is passed through the pre-filters, okay, so it will capture it in a back filter. So back filter usually uh, earlier days it is also uh, Maru V8, okay, nowadays uh, it is retrofitted with uh, Maru 13 or else new AHUs which is coming up market, it is coming with Maru 13 filter only. Okay, in this we need to what we need to check is MAR 13 or MAR 14, which filters uh, we are using and which class F class uh, classification and what is the efficiency? Uh, temperature it can be stand up to 100 degrees centigrade and average efficiency like 95% efficiency capturing one microns and uh, it can capture uh, if you go for HEPA, so it will capture less than one micron also. Okay, dust holding capacity uh, one and a half kg and uh, air flow 2000 CFM and uh, pressure drop 8 mm WC and uh, final pressure drop 30 mm WC and it it needs to be clean with the air not with the water solution okay so a air blower again I'm telling like while doing PPM activity of VHU please use PPE mask gloves properly and uh, this is the pressure drop uh, which is captured against the Maru rating as we can clearly see the Maru 13 compared to Maru 14 pressure drop, how much pressure drop can happen? Okay, so because of that, simply you can't go Maru in HEPA, the more pressure drop will happen. Okay, because HEPA filter needs to um, filter less than one micron uh, particles, so that is gives more blockage to the airflow compared to Maru filter. So that is why more pressure drop will happen in HEPA filter. So that is why simply we can't go with uh, replacement with our uh, Maru, Maru 8 to our Maru 13 or Maru 13 to HEPA filter simply we can't because that will lose too much of um, CFM flow through the filter as well as static pressure issue can arise. Your AHU may trip uh, or else your uh, air flow will come uh, reduce okay and that will give less efficiency. We may end up with uh, insufficient air circulation or air change uh, rate per hour required will become less. So keeping at all the mind, okay, so we need to check what best uh, filter can be adopted. So if we are using Maru 13 filter without any issue, so whether we can go for um, HEPA filter and one AHU you need to study how it is working any issues there then we can able to plan for replacement with um, Maru filter to HEPA filter simply if we replace we may ended up with tripping or pressure drop or uh, efficiency or air change cycle issue why because most of our AHU are not designed uh, to use HEPA filter it is normal Maru 8 uh, to and uh, per filter and Maru 8 uh, back filter designed one so due to last two years, we have replaced Maru 8 back filter to Maru 13 back filter. There's already some pressure drop which is happening. Um, but since our EC fans are can be run with more speed, okay, so that uh, pressure drop can be mitigated uh, by controlling the fan speed, increasing the CFM, okay. So oftenly we use uh, like uh, if you go with uh, HEPA filter, you please replace with your uh, uh, pre-filter with Maru 13. Okay, then HEPA filter, uh, the, the maximum pressure drop will happen in uh, uh, pre-filter. So that can be very easily clean uh, and increase your uh, 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 what um, fan speed. Okay, so that pressure drop little bit can be mitigated. But again, so you need to check the fan capacity. Okay, so if your fan capacity is not matching, okay, to the pressure drop or CFM required, then again tripping issue can happen. For that, again, we need to go for EC fans who are increasing the fan speed or if the rating is, um, I mean, 
if it is the capacity is not uh, matching akin tripping issue we can be able to plan for one more ec fan if the space is available okay use of novel filtering material air pass through hepa filter with significant pressure drop so that is what we are discussing there will be a pressure drop which is happened compared to hepa filter to maru filter because hepa filter need to filter uh, particles which is less than 1 micron so coming back to hepa filter hepa filter is using in other industries like um, icu cnhu laboratories okay where this much of regular cooling is not required uh, compared to ahu setup okay uh, where um, very hygienic condition is required and uh, very low span speed and uh, Uh, where uh, cfm is required very less those area hepa filter is used to maintain the highest hygiene level okay so for that also they do dupe test okay uh, depressed oil particular testing the hepa filter need to pass this test uh, before installing those critical areas so in this like they will add some oil based um, um, particles to challenge the hepa filter whether it can filter those or not so that is called a dupe test and individual filter uh, will check okay whether it is uh, filtered that particles or not so that is called a dupe test depressed oil particulate testing okay if you talk about uh, h coil section okay so h coil section again i already told if it is a chilled water chilled water in and out and if it is a refrigerant retrofitted with vrf unit so it is refrigerant in and out supporting to outdoor unit so let's say it is chilled water and uh, in this uh, whether the coil will uh, most of the coil uh, you know earlier days it is copper coils so nowadays in market aluminum coils also aluminum reinforced coils also available because in aluminum uh, uh, compared to the copper the air phase velocity is very much high okay in aluminum uh, uh, coils so that is why and it is also little bit cheaper than copper so that is why nowadays uh, uh, people are going with the uh, uh, aluminum uh, uh, coils for ehu unit in one part we need to uh, concentrate on anti corrosion coating both the uh, copper coils and uh, aluminum coil will have this anti corrosive coating that is also reducing some uh air flow okay because the coating will if, if double coating triple coating will happen then the space to air pass become very less okay so then that will reduce the air velocity okay so that is also very require i mean very much we need to cross check okay so while uh, retrofit or go with uh, aluminum uh, uh, coils because coil is a one area where uh, chilled water will circulate always and uh, if that is off for uh, um, longer period then there is a chance of having uh, many uh, air <coughs> bonds okay fungus bacteria implemented on uh, coil sections okay so for that we again we can do chemical coil wash <coughs> okay yearly once we can able to plan for that to avoid uh, i mean to improve the air quality and improve the life of the coil as well to get I mean to remove all the corrosive uh, parts of I mean corrosive area of uh, uh, coils okay and uh, next is on um, uh, when we come uh, discuss about uh, coil okay chilled water in and out what is the standard delta t we need to check uh, it is delta phi okay so 5 degree different uh, uh, we need to check always okay like uh, if the chilled water inlet is 12 degree centigrade then the outlet should be within 17 degree centigrade so drop which in uh, chilled water inlet and outlet should be within 5 if it is more than 5 you need to cross check any losses is there in ehu or um, uh, any space additional space we have provided thereby that is why it is uh, increased beyond 5 degree delta but usually it is always less than 5 degree delta if it is less than 1 to then you need to check uh, the integration part why it is coming uh, very less because it needs to adjust um, uh, its uh, actuator position and fan speed based on the temperature requirement so that integration if it is not working properly then and there's no occupancy less occupancy still it is running with a um, 
full speed and actuator then you will get a delta t less than 1 and 2 so less than 1 and 2 also low delta also it's a problem so low delta you need to always monitor and check on your uh, 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 communication part of uh, ahu and uh, set it right so you can able to get a delta between uh, uh, 3 and 4 and 5 it is will be very good Next is on uh, HRI, okay, so they, where you are uh, getting uh, in a brochure or specification, this coil is approved by HRI, Air Conditioning, Heating and Refrigeration Institute, or else uh, you may see the actuators, okay, it is approved by UL, UL in sense, underwriter uh, laboratories, okay, so, so those part, uh, uh, it's regarding uh, coil section. If you quickly glance on uh, AHU UV section, okay. So after AHU coil, uh, there is a <coughs> uh, UV lamp place, uh, uh, lamp can be placed as a UV section, whether it is uh, perpendicular, parallel. So how much the space is available, that section can be retrofitted with the existing AHU system, or else the now AHU units are coming with the inbuilt uh, EC fan section itself okay and uh, the key point to be noted when we are doing uh, installing a uh, uv lamps is uh, we already discussed ultraviolet energy inactivate viral bacteria and fungal organisms so bank of uv lamps which is installed inside a ahu setup okay that will inact inactivate uh, microorganisms organisms on the fly okay so that is very important word on the fly they passes through the disinfection zone from coil section to fan section when we, when they are passing okay then that uh, that will kill inact it inactivate microorganisms in the air okay for that it needs to be operated very quickly the explosion that uh, air exposure to the uv section the minimum time should be 0 0.25 so within that 2.5 second it will disinfect all the bacteria virus in the um, here and a minimum target uv dose that uh, 1500 watt per uh, uh, centimeter square so that uh, uh, a oem or uh, ahu uh, vendors will check how what is the capacity of uh, ahu cfm is and uh, what is the area of uh, the available in um, uh, this one how many uh, uv lamps is required okay how to place whether it is perpendicular or uh, uh, parallel uh, how much space so that they will discuss again even though uv section is there it is advised to have the highest mechanical filtration mechanism uh, that is uh, back filters uh, up to uh, maru 13 to maru 16 okay next is on special precaution uh, precaution has to be taken because Exposure to UV lights will cause temporary or permanent eye and skin damages. Okay, so that needs a special PPE to work with the UV section. And uh, one important thing that we need to be know is limit switch has to be provided uh, for your, uh, UV section. If someone opens, okay, automatically HU should be turned off as well as UV lamps should be turned off. Okay, so usually the fan section will have a limit switch if somebody open the fan section automatically ahu will turn off and the fan will be uh, turned off the same limit switch provision has to be provided for uv section also let us quickly go to fan section okay in this fan section uh, we already told uh, earlier uh, induction fans are replaced with ec fans so to optimize the energy so ec can, ec fan can deliver more uh, uh, cfm compared to induction fans as also rating is 30 to 40% lesser than induction fan and also energy efficiency so there is no belt loss there is no other uh, setup loss space also very easily optimized so there is no separate um, uh, motor fan uh, built uh, mechanism in this so it is inbuilt combust compact uh, ec fans it is a brushless uh, dc motor uh, so that is why operated in um, uh, dc uh, power supply so less power consumption as well uh, if you check about uh, uh, iec 60034 uh, 30 standards okay so ec fans uh, 
efficiency has been standardized international efficiency ie standard so whenever we are purchasing a fans okay they will uh, give a specification it is ie1 standard ie2 efficiency ie3 efficiency what is that so ie1 stand uh, ie ie1 stands for standard efficiency and ie2 stand for high efficiency ie3 stand for premium efficiency ie4 is super premium efficiency like in super premium efficiency you can expect uh, uh, more than 99.95 percent of efficiency uh, there's a little bit changes okay it is it is not uh, that much change so standard efficiency start with 85 to 80 88 percent between 80 85 to 88 and uh, high efficiency will lies between um, 90 to 92 93 uh, 93 to 95 98 it will be premium super premiums above 98 percent so that's all little bit uh, efficiency variation so it is just like our uh, bureau of energy efficiency they'll give star no so five star four star ratings so just like for our uh, blowers motors um, they'll give ie standards okay or else uh, one more standard is there according to europe efficiency classification so they, they will call it as a EFF, energy efficiency factors, okay? But here reverse, okay? If you go with EFF1, it is a high efficiency. So if you go with IE1, it is standard efficiency. Here, EF1 is high efficiency. EFF2 is standard efficiency. EFF3 is below standard efficiency. So this change you need to check whether you are purchasing motor specification says, IE standards are uh, EFF, European Efficiency Standards. So based on, if it is IE standard, you need to prefer uh, IE3 or IE4. If his uh, standard uh, rating is EFF standard, so you need to pick EFF1 or EFF2. So next is on, um, uh, uh, oftenly I said like uh, EC fan will deliver more CFM. Okay, so how can EC fan can deliver? Induction motor uh, with uh, uh, VSD variable speed drive okay in that we control voltage uh, to control the induction motor speed so we can able to control uh, voltage within the limit only right uh, so 0 to um, a single phase is 230 0 to 3 phase is 415 volts within that limit uh, we can able to control but in variable frequency drive okay so we can go beyond the rated speed also because uh, the speed uh, formula is 120F by P. So N is the speed, 120 is the constant, F is the frequency, P is the pole, number of poles in um, uh, uh, motor. Okay. So N is, the speed is directly proportional to frequency. If frequency increase, speed also increase. So frequency can be varied from 0 to 60. See, I mean, um, six till 60 hertz but our indian standard frequency is 50 hertz so that motor will build a rated speed at 50 hertz so that is why often we say in ec fans along with vfd controller we can go beyond the rated speed also to improve our uh, cfm to improve our air circulation change our air cycle or uh, air change per hour okay so that is why so ec fan can deliver more cfm compared to uh, uh, normal induction motor with optimum energy or less energy compared to induction motors. Let us uh, quickly uh, discuss an electronic air cleaner, a new technology which is available at market uh, to improve the indoor air quality. It's okay. Uh, it is a compact uh, combination of both uh, uh, pre filter and uh, uh, back filter or uh, coarse filter. Okay. Um, but it is uh, electrically powered up okay so the pre-filter aluminum pre-filter which filters uh, 10 microns particles in pre-filter uh, a new aluminum washable filter and uh, the coarse filters so it is a, it is also washable electronic uh, cells like cathode and ion uh, um, uh, rods will be there in uh, uh, coarse filter and a carbon filter also it is uh, provided uh, uh, in this filter where uh, after 10 micron particle filtered a pre filter and it is moved to uh, the coarse filter so the particles will break up to positive ions and negative ions so positive ions will uh, 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 coat I mean, will uh, attract by 
uh, anodes and negative ions will be attracted by cathode so it will be deposited on those uh, electrodes and uh, after carbon filter it clean air will pass through the electronic air cleaner again we need to um, have a cautious uh, when doing a ppm activity on uh, electronic air cleaner because it is electrically powered up okay so let's uh, see one small video how electronic uh, air cleaner will work so i'm telling uh, it is not a uh, advertisement for any of the company so it is just to understand the technology which is available at the market so it is how the electronic air cleaner looks so it has got pre filter ionization field connecting plates housing and whenever uh, uh, air which is containing dust particles which is uh, more than 10 micron will be filtered in aluminum filter and uh, whatever uh, the dust particle less than 10 micron will pass through the pre filter that less uh, than uh, 10 micron uh, particles whenever moving to the filter sections so that particle will break to positive ions and negative ions that called ionization will happen so that negative positive ion will deposited on positive uh, anode and cathode it will be attracted it will be deposited on uh, uh, that electrode then fresh air clean air will be passes through that filter so again uh, to inactivate the inactivate the bacteria virus and fung um, uh, fungus uh, elements in uh, air along with the electronic air cleaner so uv section is preferred so uv section can disinfect or deactivate pathogen uh, like influenza h1 h1 uh, legionella uh, tuberculosis this is a percentage kill rate of uh, uv section so it is preferred that even though if we retrofit uh, pre filter back filter with electronic air cleaner it is recommended to go with along with uh, uv section as well let us quickly discuss on H of free cooling. Okay, so in this, uh, this is a typical uh, H uh, setup where uh, return air uh, coming from field zone entering to the H room uh, pre filter section and uh, after back filter and H coil uh, while passing uh, the it will get uh, cooled. So, cool supply air will be passed to the field section again. This is a normal H mode operation to make it uh, uh, free cooling. So, we required uh, two duct sections okay one is um, return air duct along with the return air uh, uh, i mean uh, return air duct along with the uh, exhaust fan okay connected to the ambient and the control damper has to be provided for open and close and the next is on supply air uh, ducting along with the control dampers and the supply fan will be provided connected to the ambient and uh, this pre filter portion has to be extended further and control damper has to be provided to avoid whenever return air coming to the h room so the, all the uh, return air will suck to return air duct so to avoid entering into the filter section we need uh, extension of this um, pre filter section and the control damper has to be provided that has to be closed condition during free h uh, free uh, free cooling mode this is in free cooling mode uh, when whatever the return air which is coming from field zone so it is directly exhaust pumped out to atmosphere through exhaust duct uh, which is connected with exhaust fan and 100% fresh air uh, will be supplied through a fresh air fan through control damper entering to the filter section area and uh, this extended control damper which is provided to enter the return air that will be in close condition okay so three control dampers along with one fresh air fan one fresh air fan one exhaust fan is required to, to make it free cooling mode 100 percent in automation mode so whenever the free cooling mode activated it will give a signal to the ahu actuator to cut off so in a closed condition and uh, only blower will uh, uh, turn on it will give a command to all three control dampers exhaust uh, uh, damper to open and uh, that exhaust entering to the filter section this damper to close and a supply duct to pump in 100% fresh air to enter this is open okay let us see quickly one AHU unit which is retrofitted with uh, uh, free cooling uh, uh, setup 
So this is the H unit which is retrofitted with uh, uh, free cooling, 100% free cooling. Okay, so you can able to see the pre-filter section is a little bit extended. So that section has given a control damper. So this is the addition portion which is extended uh, uh, from pre-filter to uh, and it is provided with uh, controlled dampers. So it will give, take a command from a free cooling mode. Uh, during free cooling mode, uh, it will be in off condition. So this is the extension portion of uh, uh, pre-filter, which is provided uh, provision has been made uh, for uh, free cooling mode. So this is uh, the top side uh, left corner it is showing is like supply duct, okay, which is connected to that extension portion. Whenever the free cooling moding on, uh, so that damper will be on. This is the exhaust, okay. So whenever free cooling moding on, mode is on, this exhaust damper will be on. So all air will pump out to atmosphere, and it is connected with exhaust fan. So during free cooling mode, okay. So whatever the air return air which is coming, okay. So it will pass out to this. So during normal mode, it is entering in this uh, damper. So during free cooling mode, this damper will be closed condition. That return air will go through exhaust and uh, fresh air will be entering uh, from uh, the fresh air ducting this chamber and it will pass through the filter. So it is a very simple setup. Uh, one supply duct control damper, which is pumping in um, ambient air to this chamber. And to avoid entering return air to the chamber in during free cooling mode control damper and all the return air which is coming, which will be exhausted in this ducting through exhaust fan. And it is connected with uh, CO2 sensors and uh, ambient temperature sensor. Whenever CO2 are within the limit and uh, temperature are uh, uh, within the uh, limits, so it will give a command to the all three dampers and actuator. Actuator will close condition. So this main damper will be closed to avoid entering the return air. All return air will exhaust through this uh, uh, exhaust duct and the supply air will enter to this duct to this chamber and it will pass through each unit. Again, uh, the pre-filter is MARU-8 uh, and the back filter is MARU-13 filter. So nowadays, uh, there are a portable HEPA filter unit which is available. A portion of uh, um, if EHU unit uh, uh, can't be retrofitted with HEPA filter as earlier we discussed. Okay, So if this uh, um, uh, due to the static pressure okay there is a portable filter unit which is available at the market so simply we can uh, uh, take this HEPA filter uh, uh, then uh, uh, placed in uh, AH room or wherever the filtration is level is required then it will just to do like the pass uh, through the filter and um, uh, it will uh, capture less than one micron uh, uh, air particles and the fresh air will be supplied back so portion of uh, return air uh, and some mixture of return air supply air can be filtered uh, uh, through HEPA filter. So nowadays uh, portable HEPA filter unit also available uh, uh, to filter uh, uh, the air to improve the air quality in uh, indoor. Hi, let's see one uh, simple case study. Um, uh, as per ASHTRAE standards uh, 62001, uh, facility cell area should be designed uh, uh, for fresh air uh, 0.16 cfm per square feet uh, and uh, are uh, 20 cfm per person uh, outdoor or fresh air need to be planned for uh, uh, facility area. And uh, the general thumb rule is uh, gen 400 square feet per TR or 400 cfm per TR has to be designed uh, for uh, each unit. And uh, facility area air change is recommended by ASHTRAE is uh, four to eight, four to eight uh, air change per hour. Okay, let's simply calculate one, take one scenario, uh, and uh, let's check that H U can uh, meet this ASHTRAE standards or not. 
the air to capacity 30 tr 15000 cfm and a fresh air connected to it is 4000 cfm supporting to 12000 square feet of area and in their our station seating capacity is 180 okay excluding uh, pass i mean uh, meeting room conference room those part seating capacity is 180 seater so let's check whether this uh, design is uh, met the astra standards or not so first design facility area should be designed uh, 0.16 cfm per square foot fresh air so cfm per square foot 4000 cfm fresh air divided by 12000 uh, uh, square feet okay so it is 0.33 so then it is passed because it is more than 0.16 uh, cfm per square feet uh, for fresh air facility cells okay so next is on or else it is 20 cfm per person minimum has to be provided minimum is 15 cfm per less than that it will suffocate uh, people uh, in our station area but the standard design uh, as per uh, astray uh, standard 62201 it is 20 cfm uh, per person so let's see this ch2 can meet so cfm per person so 4000 cfm is the fresh air unit and 180 seater it is coming 22.22 cfm per person so this requirement also this ch2 unit is meeting and um, fresh air unit is meeting and a general thumb rule 400 square feet per tr so usually it is 400 300 to 400 nowadays it's moving little bit higher so this a2 square feet per tr 12000 square feet 30 tr it is 400 square feet per tr it is uh, covering and the cfm per tr uh, 15000 cfm per uh, divided by 13 500 cfm per tr okay so like easy fan always deliver more cfm uh, compared to induction motor so the design cfm per tr is uh, 500 but a square foot per tr is uh, 400 uh, square foot per tr it is coming again both the scenarios matching uh, astray requirement and the next is an air change per hour okay for this cfh cubic feet per hour divided by area in feet 3 okay uh, cubic feet so for this length width uh, height we need to measure so cfm we know oh, it is a 15000 cfm capacity h motor so for cfh uh, we need to multiply with uh, 60 and the area we know uh, 12000 square feet uh, in this uh, length width we have calculated what about height height we need to uh, add so it is a 9 feet uh, usually the floor height is 9 feet so into 9 so then it is cfh is equal to 9 lakh cfh divided by uh 108000 feet 3 other cubic feet so it is coming 8.33 okay so that means so with this capacity so eight times air change uh, can happen in one hour okay so this also meeting astray requirement because air change is recommended 4 to 8 it is uh, if it is operated full so it can deliver 8.33 so it is a design scenario if your uh, ahu is operating less or fresh air uh, uh, percentage uh, uh, and uh, using is less so then you always have a uh, manual calculation of uh, cfm and uh, you can study how exactly air change is happening and uh, sure. per person how much it is delivering for actual one you always uh, can calculate Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video is uh, uh, more informative. Uh, <clears throat> please subscribe and share. Share it to your friends who is working in uh, technical field. Uh, this video might helpful for them. Thank you so much uh, for watching.